Okay, so before we get stuck into looking what our pricing and packaging for our online courses are going to be, um, or our face-to-face -face training, um, first of all, I really just want to make sure that you understand what we mean when we talk about a sales funnel. And I have talked about this a little bit before already, so please feel free to skip past this part if you, you're already there. But it's really important to understand that within our business, we need to have a series of sales funnels. Now, a funnel, if you like, is basically the bucket in which all of our prospects and potential customers come into. It's basically when we meet someone or um, we are potentially getting in front of customers or potential customers, they go into our funnel. Now, what this normally means is at the top of the funnel, this is where we're sort of generating leads. These people perhaps are not buying yet. They could be cold leads, which means that they're, they're going to be tough to convert into sales. They could be warm leads, which means that they've expressed an interest in working with you. Perhaps they've been highly engaged with you on social media. But you basically, you're somehow getting in front of them, getting them on a list or getting them to know you in some way. So these are our leads. Then we have uh, our prospects. So basically, as we go down the funnel, it gets narrower because some people, having had that engagement or interaction with you, may decide this person's not for me, what they talk about I'm not interested in, and they basically leave. They might unsubscribe from your mailing list. Um, they might not want to come to one of your seminars again. Either way, the, we don't need to worry about those. We don't want customers that don't fit our model and don't like or want our services. So that's okay. So we lose some of the people that are uh, not of interest to us and our funnel becomes smaller. These people then turn into prospects, potential customers. They've, they've learned from us, they've heard from us, they know us, um, and they are people now that are still interested because they haven't left, which means they are warm potential customers. What we need to really be focusing on when they're at this part is trying to convert them into paying customers. This is when everything we're giving them or putting out there is encouraging them to buy something. And then some of those are going to go, look, nah, you know, I've, I've been given a bit more, but I'm still not going to buy anything. Some of them might leave. Some of them might just hang around for the sake of the fact that they either like you uh, or they like the free stuff that you're giving out. You're always going to have freeloaders. Don't worry about them. Because you then have at the bottom of the funnel your actual paying customers. So these are the people that have bought stuff from you. These are the people you need to look after. These are the people you want to try and create uh, raving fans out of. And they're people that you want to really, really try to make sure that they they continuously buy from you. So that's where we will go into our packaging in just a moment. But we need to make sure that we have a number of funnels for all of our different products and services. So let's go and talk about that now in our next lecture.